Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. If this is your first time here, please leave a comment. Nobody comments on my videos, so YouTube doesn't recommend them and then I get a little crazy. Uh, it is currently like 4.30 in the morning. I have an MRI at 6.45 and I woke up and I can't get back to sleep, so let me do something before I waste my whole day going to a hospital that's way far away. Okay, I have a 14 inch grapevine. Clip that off. This one's from Michael's. It's a little, um, well, it's pretty even. Yeah, I think I'm gonna work over here just because this side looks slightly thinner. This is a sign from Dollar Tree, which, come on Dollar Tree. I don't know why, it's, I mean it's a yard steak, but it has a hole in the top. Not sure why, because I mean you wouldn't, would you hang this on your door with this big steak coming out the side of it? I don't know. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. It's hard to be such a hulking man sometimes. All right, that's better. But if you're like, oh, oh, what are you gonna do with this? If I hadn't broken this, um, my friend Jen does swags out of paint sticks. And I think you could probably use this. I mean, it's pretty thick. Is it a quarter inch thick? Let me see. Yeah, the quarter inch thick, so you could staple into it. But I broke it because I'm a big hulking monster man. All right, so what I'm thinking is I want this over here, big bow right here, or maybe this, this here, bow up here. Well, either way, I need to prep this sign so it can dry while we're doing the bow. I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue. I don't have a preference. And these are cable mounting squares. You can get them from Amazon, it's like five bucks for a thousand of them or something. It might be five bucks for like a hundred. And these hold really well. But just in case, just in case somebody stores everything in the attic. I want to um, give it a little bit of extra, extra, extra security. Sorry about that. I don't think I'm gonna use this, but who knows. and I haven't even opened it yet. But it looks like it's the crappy plaid ribbon that I hate. Is it? What's the? Yeah. Okay. All of these are from Craft Outlet. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to put this one in the back because that one's gonna be thin. Just really, they, if they, I, I, I wish they just labeled that ribbon as crappy, so you would know beforehand. I'm gonna do eight inch tails. And six inch loops, I'm gonna make a three loop bow. which means I have to, not six, it's 6.45, sorry. I need to be there at 6.15, which means I need to leave here at like 5.30. If 
and the hospital we have to go to is all the way in, um, not Jefferson, I mean, it's, it's on Jefferson Highway, but it's like, there's a hospital like five minutes from my house that I go to, you know, basically every day for physical therapy. And I had to go to, I have to go to the Oshner's main campus, which is the big, the big hospital, because my doctor was like, mm, you know, you're a big guy. And I was like, yes, I've noticed. He's like, we're going to have to send you to main campus. I said, oh, okay. Which I don't want to do that, but it is by Hobby Lobby. It's in, I guess it's in Metairie. Well, I mean, it's in New Orleans. I don't know. I don't know where that hospital is because the Hobby Lobby's in Metairie. But the hospital's in New Orleans, so who knows? But I was like, I have to go to the to the to the fat boy, the fat boy MRI. And he said, well, we could do it here. He said, but I don't want to risk it. And I was like, what risk and what? That I'm going to gain like 60 pounds overnight? Well, no, I guess it was. But two weeks ago that we, two weeks ago I made the appointment, so. But still. I was like, great. The first time I've lost, lost enough weight to use the MRI here. He still wants to send me to the other one. It's whatever. If I have to go shopping at Hobby Lobby in the nice Dollar Tree, I mean, I guess I'll do it. I don't know. Marshalls. Okay, and now for this, I'm gonna go at, like, I can bring these into like seven inches. It's not gonna really matter. And then I'm just gonna bring this in slightly to like five and a half. on each side because I only have one one and a half inch ribbon so I don't want to do another three loop side I mean I, I would like to do another three loop side but um, it's only gonna have the tails coming out of this side which I could always do three loops and then go do three loops the other way but I'll just do two on each side so that's four and then I will This, this ribbon for like a Saints wreath and I'm still using it. For a second, I was like, wait a minute. over each other. Pull it tight. Always twist the wrong way first and then go back and fix it. If 
you tighten this up enough, Evo should basically be done, pretty much. Put that right there, bring this back in. You can, um, if you want, you can go over these again with some hot glue, which I would do if my glue gun was plugged in, but I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Oh, I am so hungry, and I don't want to eat, because every time I eat, my stomach hurts, and I don't want my stomach to be hurting when I have to lay perfectly still for an hour. Hopefully it won't be that long. These are from Dollar Tree. Like, I can because it's got glitter all over it where there shouldn't be any glitter, but at least it's not like it's teeth. You know, Dollar Tree gets stupid with their glitter sometimes. And I get it. Like, it's supposed to be like, oh, look, it's glittery. It's, it's, it's cute. It's glittery. But these are supposed to be like, I mean, they're direct copies of existing vintage signs, except for the stupid pumpkin. This, the pumpkin's super cute. The skeleton, they're all super cute, but the pumpkin has a mustache, which, okay, I don't know why. The skeleton's really cute too. He's wearing a top hat. But I got two of all of them and then three of the cat. Because Spooky Cat is my Like I'm not gonna put the bow up there. That's why I put 95% of every bow, every bow I make for you. And I wish I had some kind of floral to add to this, but. Like some, like some leaves that were like rustier colored, you know. Not rusty color, but like dingy. Some distressed leaves. You know, when I was at Goodwill yesterday, they had a huge pack of preserved um, oak leaves. You know, like real oak leaves. They felt like leather, and I was like, oh man, I should get that. But it was like eight dollars. Which, I'll spend $8 on, on a thing of leaves at Michael's. I'm not spending on it. Goodwill. I should have seen what holiday were and then when I could come back to get them for half off. But. They'll probably still be there. Everybody will be like, oh, why do I want these dead leaves? And I'm like, oh my god, I want those dead leaves.
Okay, this is looking a little dull. So I grabbed some, why are these two backwards? Don't you hate that when like everything's perfect and some of them are backwards? I grabbed some of these fall, uh, fall leaves, the Dollar Tree stems that I love and am running out of. Hopefully I found more today. I'm just putting a little bit of shape into them. I'm just going to go up there. Okay, that was looking a little bland, so I added three stems of the Dollar Tree leaves. I was like, what are they? Um, I'm almost out of those, so maybe I'll find some more today. And now I'm going to trim these off. Tuck them in. yellow so I'm okay with that so five six seven eight nine Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So thirty-three plus twenty-five equals fifty-eight. Yeah, but uh, more of them there. We'll see. All right, guys, I gotta go. Get ready. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to buy this wreath, it'll be listed on Etsy down below, along with Instagram. If you want to follow me there, Patreon. If you want to subscribe at five dollars a month, you get access to bonus videos, behind-the-scenes tutorials, early access stuff like that and venmo if you want to tip me so i can get five more spooky cat signs all right guys thanks for watching bye